What's going on in Pittsburgh? What is going on in Pittsburgh? Guys, I had to make this quick video. I didn't know this information earlier when I released Terrible Tile Tuesday. And if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out, man. I'm talking about, you know, why I thought we lost against the Patriots. I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, getting off of that. What is going on in Pittsburgh? I'm going to talk about a couple things. One, that is a fact. Two, is speculation. All right? So let's jump right into it, guys. Here's the fact. Ben Roethlisberger stated that he's not committed or ready to commit to the 2017 season. Okay? Now, for those of you guys who heard what he said, I don't have a problem with what he said. As far as, hey, I'm going to take some time to evaluate and think some things out and take my mind off of football for a while. That's what everyone does in the offseason. But he said if there is to be another season, that's a problem. Now, I'm going to explain to you why it's a problem. I'm going to give you the obvious, but then I'm going to give you the thing that some of you may not be thinking about. Here's the obvious. No Ben Roethlisberger. What would that mean to the Pittsburgh Steelers? Let's go through the list. So a lot of people don't necessarily like Landry Jones. I don't necessarily prefer Landry Jones. I hate to, <laughs> hate to say this because some people are going to disagree. I know my boy Tony agrees with me. Shout outs. What up, Tony? Landry Jones is a guy that I would keep as a third option. Remember, the last couple years, Gratkowski was supposed to be the number two. Landry was under rookie contract, not really costing the Steelers that much money. Made sense why he was still there. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Landry Jones becomes the number two, and there you have it. That's where we have the problem. He hasn't done that well. I would maybe keep him around as a third option. I said that the Steelers would need to draft someone this year to restart the process like they did with Landry, look for a backup, groom him, and let him and Zach Medenberger compete, what have you, what have you. Now, if Ben Roethlisberger was to retire... Now you're talking about you must keep Landry Jones because he knows the system. Or Greg Kowski, if he's coming back, we don't know. But that changes the whole dynamic because not only are you going into the draft to potentially look for some talent, I mean, now you're in a position where you're going into the draft to find a quarterback that could potentially start. That's crazy. I watch college football from time to time. I don't really keep an eye on everybody, even though I see most of the games. I don't even really know right out the gate who would be that guy. I know a lot of people are going to, you know, just jump on, oh, Deshaun Watson, which we don't know if that's the type of guy that would fit in the Steelers type of offense. So you don't want to just jump down that road. But this would be crazy, folks, if there was no Ben Roethlisberger just out the blue like that. Now, we all have probably been concerned that, we don't know how many years he has left. We all can say that. But nobody, I don't think anybody was expecting it to be this year. You can't fault the man. It would be his 14th season. He already has rings. It is what it is. If he's really feeling like for health reasons, for family, you can't knock him. But it would hurt. Because we're thinking that our window is still slightly there for the Super Bowl. If Ben goes away, wow. I'm not sure. Now, I will say this real quick before I get into the thing that some people may not be thinking about. I will say this. If that was the case, maybe we could find someone serviceable. You think about what the Denver Broncos were able to do with Peyton Manning. Not saying our defense is on that level, but our offense is. So you put all these pieces around whoever this guy is. You know, all of these weapons on offense, maybe they could do something. You never know, but... It's crazy to even think like that, but man, we'll get more into that as more information comes out, you know, weeks and months or what have you down the road. Here's the not so obvious thing that some of you guys might not be thinking about and why I think it's a problem. Let me see. How can I say this? Ben Roethlisberger is actually showing some signs of, dare I say, selfishness. Let me explain. You didn't need to say that right now. You didn't need to say that right now. Two days after losing the AFC Championship. Like I said, it would you it would have been cool if you just saying that you're going to take some time away, get your mind together, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Most people say that. But the fact that you decided to say if there will be another season, come on, Ben, you're smarter than that. I know you know that's going to create a story. That's making it about Ben Roethlisberger, right? 
the same way another player might be making things about themselves. Not same category, but it's in the same ballpark. Because you have to be, as much as we say guys have to be aware and be accountable for their actions, you have to know you making that statement, what that does to the headlines. You think that ain't going to be trending? You didn't need to do that right now. There's plenty of time in this offseason where you could decide to retire and mention it. It doesn't need to be stated publicly that, you know, if there is going to be a season. like That part, I ain't feeling that. I hate to knock Ben, but I got to be fair. I'm a fair fan. I'm going to tell you when you're wrong. That right there, this ain't the time for that. So I got I to gotta call you on that. Now, here's the second thing, guys, that I heard. This is crazy. Antonio Brown. I'm hearing that the Steelers may, may be fed up with him. You know, I first saw it on, you know, pro football talk where they're saying, you know, maybe some of this leaked information is coming out because the Steelers are secretly shopping Antonio Brown. Who knows? But how crazy would that be? Imagine if the Steelers were to trade Antonio Brown. Let me speak on that real quick. I love Antonio Brown. I love his work ethic. I love the way he plays. I love his skill set. Everything about him as a football player. From what I see from him as a person in terms of how he talks and in interviews. He's always smiling. Seems to be happy. Bubbly guy. Seems to be a good person. Like all of that. But we are seeing more and more things that seem to be selfish. Right? Even the last thing that was reported in the game. There's reports that he was pouting. When D'Angelo Williams scored a touchdown, not the fact that we didn't get a touchdown. Supposedly he was pouting because someone else got the touchdown. I'm going to tell you right now, in a football environment or any team sport, you don't need that kind of guy. I would be one of the main ones hurt if there was no Antonio Brown because of what he is to not only the Steelers, but what type of player he would be for any team that would hurt. But. If he's a quote-unquote cancer in the locker room, don't be surprised that the still is moving. So my question to you guys, how does this make you feel? How would you feel about your Pittsburgh Steelers team coming into the 2017 season with a retired Ben Roethlisberger and a traded Antonio Brown? Wow. Is that not crazy? What is going on in Pittsburgh, guys? We are two days uh, off of the 2016 season, and this news is already out. Like, what else is going to happen? This is crazy. So, again, I just wanted to make this quick video. I wanted to share it with you guys and hear what you guys have to say. Give me your thoughts, man. Imagine no Ben Roethlisberger, and how do you feel about him stating that right now, as well as possibility of the Steelers trading Antonio Brown and us coming into the season without Big Ben and Antonio Brown and how does Landry Jones play into all of this crazy wow this is crazy though I don't even want to think about this but hey it is what it is folks I'm still gonna ride with the black and gold forever man but wow crazy so those are just my thoughts, man. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Definitely share your thoughts in the comments. Two messages before I go, guys. When you see the screaming face come up, go ahead and hit on that and sub to the channel. Come on, go on, come on and be a part of this movement. And also, guys, I promise you, the video, it never hurts you to hit a like button <laughs> or dislike it as well. Whatever you feel, share your thoughts. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for now, man. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. Until next time, peace.